Penguin episode one review. I mean, I'll let you start. What do you think? What was your what was your opinion of episode one? Like what you thought, uh, uh, what it felt like, what the show felt like it was bringing, I guess, new or exciting for you. And, and you know, then we'll get to that. I'm, uh, I'm going to start it off with telling the truth. I'm really not a real fan of the Batman in this in this universe. Yeah, but, I know. But the Penguin show was incredible. Like it made me feel for the character. Like I didn't like the penguin until the last guy, um, Danny DeVito played them or something. So it's yeah. like, but he did his thing, like, like total transformation. Like, like if you didn't tell me who he was, I wouldn't have been like, nah, that's not him. But total transformation. I think he really, really did his research and really did that character. Like he really put his foot in it. Like I, I, the show started off great. Man. Like, straight into action like i don't want to give no spoilers nothing i'll let y'all see it for yourselves but an amazing start off of the show like you can't start and show no gangster than that yeah like, but he did a great job playing the the penguin I, I i can't wait to see the rest of the seven episodes to see what he does i want to i want to like start with like the way I didn't I never liked the character penguin. I thought never. he was the right as a villain, you know, like if a Batman, just like one like a basic villain. Yeah. yeah. And seeing him from like the the old Adam West TV show Batman to to more recent Danny DeVito, you know, portraying as him. But this penguin is like a different kind of penguin. This penguin is like it's so multi-dimensional he's unpredictable he has like so much personality but there's a lot going crazy and it's just like you don't know what's he about but you know that definitely he's using everyone manipulating and real mm -hmm. like smart with it like real street smart with it. as far as like how he's like little by little. you can see it like you mm -hmm. can see it in the show as far as mm -hmm. like how he's gonna grow and rise to fame and power and all that else all that stuff that he wants is almost just like a scarface meets soprano meets batman mm -hmm. universe yeah, you know like definitely. this penguin like just like, even looking at the picture is like you wouldn't even think that that's penguin but this is the new style penguin yeah i, I i'm gonna agree i'm not 50 well i'm 50 50 with it like mm -hmm. i'm 50 50 with this pattinson batman that we have but the thing about pattinson is like it's not him it's just the way they did the first movie the first film as far as like with you know with all the yeah, i don't know i felt like a uh uh underworld meets twilight meets uh like when it comes to Batman, I want to see Batman as far as like him being more portrayed as the simple character that we know he is—a traumatized billionaire kid, paid, paid guaps and guaps of money to do what he want to do, and that's vengeance. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's a comic book, so like, yes realistically you're not gonna have a guy without powers doing all this amazing stuff but comic book with film you know doesn't always have to be different right so it's like when you see this penguin you see like a version of like they're trying to mix the realistic or or something like a mafia style realistic with the fantasy character of penguin the same thing like with the nolan movies with the nolan movies mm -hmm. did as far as like that gave us like a more realistic more uh mm -hmm. gritty uh batman with heath ledger's joker that was a different mm -hmm. kind of twist on that one and mm -hmm. this penguin is just the same thing this bat universe is the same thing it's like mm -hmm. uh a grittier more serious and even with the director uh matt reeves saying that he wants grounded villains villains that don't have special powers or abilities just grounded regular grimy crazy vile whatever villains that batman it's can cheaper. go against exactly it's, of course it's, it's cheaper yeah it's cheaper Let, let's be honest yeah it's cheaper that's what they trying to do but i liked it because it was like every story we see of the penguin is always when he's in power or when he's running his gang but this story is like the beginning beginning when he manipulated his way to getting 
to where he got to get to. You feel me? So it's like, we're going to see how the penguin becomes the penguin. Not yeah. like how we used to already knowing everything about him. And so then like, you remember when, when, you know, I don't want to say too much the yeah. ring, right? We'll just say mm -hmm. the ring, the ring, you know, that's going to be used for another grimy, uh, 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 betrayal or you want to say backstabbing mm -hmm. moment you know that he's gonna use to you know get someone else to go against the other and you know how that is like a like a whole game of thrones kind of scenario where he's using each side to like basically go at each other while he you know mm -hmm. rises to power so it's like it's very it's like i wasn't bored through the whole thing I, like no. i and it felt like to me it felt like a movie it felt like mm -hmm. something like you know if it was a movie you know i wouldn't mind watching no no it was good it was good it, it was an hour and, and change and there was no i did not get bored through that whole hour it kept me interested through the whole episode yep and another honorable mention, Sophia Falcone. Like she had mm -hmm. the crazy eyes. She gets yeah, she was crazy. Yeah. No spoiler, like, no spoiler. It's like, wait till y'all see it and you gonna see for yourselves. Exactly. Like she she was another one, like another great character. So, you know, we're not gonna say too much, but it's just yeah. we can say that how good of a portrayal and you know how she plays Sophia Falcone, she did really good with that one too. Right. And um I think his name is Victor Ayala or uh, something like that. The kid, right? Mm -hmm. The kid was all right. The kid, the kid's part was all right and stuff. But other overall, like Colin Farrell owns this character. Like he just yeah, like he, he's he, he is his show. Basically, there's no hands down. It's his show. He's carry. He it's not that he's carrying it, but if he had to he would no, he or oh, he's carrying it if like yeah, yeah. you know yes you got some um interesting great characters so yeah. far yeah. In, so in far yeah yeah i but can't they, say that because it's like like it's only the first episode and like i said it's still time for more characters and, and remember out. remember um when it comes to the falcons there's really two brothers and a sister mm -hmm. they didn't show the older brother because mm -hmm. you got you got uh the other younger brother you got sophia and then you got the older brother so that's another thing that that's gonna be you know in the future that's gonna maybe pop up and be some other problem mm -hmm. but other than that we ain't gonna say no more mm -hmm. all we're gonna say is that it's awesome it's excellent and yes you need to check it out because it's like it's it's cinema it's like yeah. you know it's something that you could watch there's no messaging there's no no uh, uh signs uh, uh, of awkwardness or stupidity and nothing like that it was just straight cinema something that you could watch and not get bored and like i said my son penguin was playing chess while these guys are playing checkers so oh, must yeah. watch you must watch okay.